The Ravens will have Justin Matabuike staying put. This was the no-brainer of no-brainers from your Seriously. perspective. You recognize how good he is. Right. It was him or Patrick Queen, but between the two, and now Queen will hit the open market, but Matabuike will stick around in Baltimore on $22.1 million. He had 13 sacks as an interior defensive lineman, and uh, that's not easy to do. The guy is uh, a master, I presume, in effing up the play, exactly. as you would call it. Right. Otherwise, they wouldn't. They wouldn't be. They wouldn't be making this. <laughs> they wouldn't be effing up their checkbook. Maybe. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, you, you, he's, you know, he's built. When you look at him there, you know who he looks like. He's compact. Uh huh. And he bursts through, and yes, he looks like he was number ninety-nine for the Rams. No doubt about it. It's that type of player. I mean, you you, you kind of you know he is. He's an f the play up guy. He's kamikaze, right? He's the Tasmanian devil in there. He's not your like just big overpowering guy. He's got power. He really does. That's why he's special. You know, to be that size, he can hold his ground pretty good against double teams and do things like that. You go where that's phenomenal strength. For a guy that's, I think, goes about 305, maybe 300, which is small for, for that position. But it's the quick and athleticism. And you're right, the muscle structure. It's explosive. It's real, right? He is definitely in the conversation for best player on that defense. And they couldn't let him go, right? Their defensive line's got a lot of good. I don't know if it's got anybody that's great. Right, they got some size, they got some power. We know they're tough under John Harbaugh, but difference makers on that defensive line, he stands alone in that conversation. Right, but now, yeah, like you said, they're taking a risk. Patrick Queen played really good football last year. He's damn good. And I kind of sat here with the Ravens and went, whoever doesn't get franchised will be up in Seattle with Mike McDonald next year, their ex defensive coordinator. Right, so now that's what I expect off of this. Matt Ibuike, right, franchise, boom. They're giving Roquan Smith a ton of money already at middle linebacker. I got a hard time they're thinking they're going to be able to pay Patrick Queen. I got to think Mike McDonald of the Seattle Seahawks is going, wait, I can get my Ravens culture going here. Let me get a guy in the room that's like that. I would think he's going to be at the top of the list because they, they have a need at middle linebacker as well. And last year the Ravens had the highest profile franchise tag player with Lamar Jackson. It became – a long-term deal in April before the draft. We'll see if they can take this tag and turn it into a multi-year contract. Remember, for all of these players, the deadline is July 15 for doing a long-term deal, whether they accept the one-year tender or not. As of July 15, the window closes until after the regular season ends on doing a long-term deal. Once upon a time, there was a moratorium from like late March, early April until July 15 to even talk to the franchise tag player, which made no sense. They turned that around and made July 15 the deadline for getting a long-term deal done, which I think is kind of a stupid, arbitrary deadline. Like, why? This is one of those where you step back and say, why? Yeah, why? right. Why are we, why why are should, we handcuffing why ourselves? Why should they not? Right, right, right. Why should they, these teams not be allowed to do a multi-year contract with this guy? It doesn't help the player. No. It, it gives you a deadline in July, but you still want to have the opportunity to get your long-term contract when you're out there having a great season. They finally wake up and say, well, now we know why the guy wanted $35 million a year. Right. All right, we'll pay it to you. Oh, sorry, we can't do it until after the regular season. Oh, sorry, you tore your ACL week 18. That, that's, what's, that's what's messed up. That's, but I, don't, I don't like that, right? It, it, it's, it's just all about buying the team more time, whether it's to figure out, wait, do, were we comfortable with our evaluation to pay them that money, right? Or let's just see one more year, and just see if he is what we think he is, and, and that's where, yeah, it feels wrong on a human level as far as that's concerned. Something else that felt wrong on a human level during the segment that I missed because I was looking something What's up. What's that? Sources what? close to me tell me that at one point you uttered the words in this order, thirsty, hungry, whatever acronym. <laughs> did you say that? I think I did, yes. I did. I did. I did say that. Yes. It's I was confirmed. waiting for you it's to. Confirmed. We have a second source on, on that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Miss Lippy. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, on that note, you'll probably hear it again. If you missed it like I did, Kristen has Kansas to bleep out the, the swear words. Show. So you're an asshole, Kristen. How about that one? <laughs> uh, then that will be fine. Let's take a break. When we return, more reaction to the tags that were applied and not applied when PFT Live continues right after this. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.